maybe I should understand that you've assured us. You've patted us on our little backwards head, our little uneducated head, our little not important to the United States head, and you've said it's going to be okay. Could I run the evidence, please, of it's going to be okay? We will do what it takes. Your government will do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to stop this crisis. There is no way to imagine America without New Orleans. And this great city will rise again. We're going to do everything in our power to protect our natural resources, compensate those who have been harmed, rebuild what has been damaged. So we, we know you're going to help. We heard both the Republican and the Democrat. Oh, tell us so. Well, let me, let me read you a couple of things that have me confused. BP, I mean bad and pathetic, excuse me, may have purposely chose not to do a final test that might have avoided this catastrophe. But we shouldn't worry. Mineral Management Service, the federal arm, that we don't have to worry about. They'll take care of it. Oh, they, they didn't. And Halliburton might have left off a seal in the pipe that would have avoided the catastrophe. But um, we, we didn't have to worry about that because MMS, the Mineral Management Service, would have helped. Oh, they, they didn't help it. The, the test, bad and pathetic, chose not to do, might have revealed a missing seal that would have kept this catastrophe from happening. But they they'll protect us. That's that's big government, right? That's MMS. I'm getting a little confused here, presidents. I, I I hear what you're saying, but I'm going down this list. BP knowingly used dispersants banned in England with the blessing of the EPA. With the blessing of the EPA. Are you kidding me? Some news agencies are reporting that BP has financial connections to the company that makes the dispersant. The claims are the executives from BP and Exxon play a part in the dispersant company. Oh, but uh, EPA is going to take care of that, right? No, they didn't. Hmm. BP didn't reveal all the videos of the spewing oil. Well, the Secretary of the Interior is going to take care of that, right? Well, he's been down here a lot, hasn't he? He didn't take care of that. BP refused to allow scientists to measure amount of oil flowing to the Gulf, all the while saying it was about $5,000 a barrel. And for a month, we've been very nice. No bad words about BP or the federal government or the president or MMS or Interior Department or Energy Department. Nothing. We have been such good, slow backwards Louisianians that are not part of America. We have been so good. We have believed you right down the street. Estimates from a Purdue University scientist yesterday in front of a congressional committee puts the flow of between 75 and 115,000 barrels a day. If he has raised this spill, now, keep in mind, I'm the guy that's been keeping everything calm and telling everybody, you know, it's Sock 1, Bear Campeche, 1979. It blew in for nine months. It was all over the Gulf, 410,000 tons. And we didn't see much problem, so, gee, maybe we'll be lucky, too. Well, this one, if that professor is right, is larger than Istok 1. It's the second largest oil spill in the history of recorded oil industry. Conflict of interest raised in the testing of the oil slick? Wait a minute. We've had scientists on here from all over the world. I trust scientists, right? I mean, we're a little punch drunk from FEMA, from SBA, from the Corps of Engineers, from the Coast Guard, all of our American institutions working to save an American state. Oh, that's right. We're not an American state. We've been talking to Cuba, though. Saw the government was talking to Cuba. Gee, I hope they save Cuba. I, I, I got to admit, I am c- concerned about Cuba. <sighs> Energy Department would have checked the fact that the labs testing the oil slick have BP as a client. I know they would have. Coast Guard, oh man, we like our Coast Guard, up to about a day ago. 
Coast Guard and BP representatives threatened to jail the CBS crew if they filmed the oil spill. That report went nationwide, YouTube, worldwide. So the Justice Department saw it and said, wait a minute. That's the Louisiana waters. That's public area. You can't threaten to arrest somebody. And they came down and uh, they, they didn't come down either. No. Oh, incidentally, oh, I love this one. We are begging Congress to give us 37.5% of our oil reserves. We've been begging for just some, give us a little kernel, give us a crumb for years. While for decades, five other states get 50% of their oil. We beg you after Katrina. Incidentally, we're not scheduled to get the 37.5% until 2017. After the blood and tears of Katrina, you gave us the 37% handout, but will tease us with it for seven years. But one of our senators is on her hands and knees begging you to give it to us now. We don't even need the 50% that the rest of you get while we get the risk, while we are destroyed. Why don't you just say it? Why don't you just admit it? Why don't you say Louisiana doesn't count? Put us out of our damn misery. 37.5%, the rest of you get 50%. And you know why you won't give it to us? Because it comes out of the federal budget. But none of the states with 50% are going to turn around and reduce theirs to 37.5% or less of what we receive right now. You just want to send us your garbage and make us take the risk. But the president, you heard it, he's going to take care of us. I mean, Mr. President, equal representation. Oh, that doesn't count here. What? America, you look like Cinderella. You really do. You're beautiful. I admire you so much. You're so pretty. But I hate like hell being the ugly sister. Now, finally, a Republican governor, Governor General, is doing everything in the world to help. It's also reduced to begging President Obama to dim a don't for the dredging of sand barriers to avoid more destruction. Our sand. Our sand. We have to beg you to dig our sand to save our people, to save our culture, to save a piece of America that you don't care about because you're too stupid to understand what we mean to you. You know, those Demodotes and those Republicans, they're working for us. We can trust them. How's that working for you? How's that working for you? We know how it's working for us. Now, finally, I want to remind you of this. We got 30% of your energy. And believe me, Cajuns are very intelligent, very resourceful, survivalist. And we will play your stupid Republican and Demodont games as long as it looks like you have educated yourself enough to understand how important we are to you. And if you don't understand, we're going to find a way to help you with your education. We're going to find a way to explain to you that don't cancel your football games when a hurricane hits and blame the oil companies. Don't throw your little fits all over the country when your heating oil goes through the roof. Just remember, we've got your energy. We've got your security. And we will find a way to relieve you of what you have said, Mr. Schwarzenegger, Senator Bill Nelson of Florida, Robert Kennedy Jr. You told us you don't want it. And if we get destroyed while taking your risk, we'll relieve you of your anxiety over the black, gooky stuff. Go on, Robin, at Think Tank.